Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Bulldog Show. Well, Trump's going to make a big announcement today from Mar-a-Lago. What shall it be? I think he's saying it's time. It's time. And I'll bet you he's more charged up than ever. Bulldog TV will be covering it just like everyone else. The House, I checked last night before I went to bed, and it looked like the House was now going to be in Republican control, 219 to 216. But the House is now in control, and you know what? See a Nancy Pelosi. By the way, you know what? If they would have won that, you know, five more House seats, you know, sure, it gives them a little leeway, but you know what? At least they won. At least they won. You know, it's better than losing. That was a positive. All this red wave BS, who cares? They have the House. That is a net loss to Joe Biden and the progressive woke politicians. Carrie Lake, Katie Hobbs. Katie Hobbs has been declared the winner of Arizona governorship. Folks, this reminds me of the Trump-Biden campaign in 2020. Why? Carrie Lake campaigned her ass off. The crowds, the enthusiasm. Hobbs wouldn't debate her. She was running and hiding. Couldn't find a crowd. And she miraculously wins yet another state with a complete, you know, a whole week, a whole week to count the ballots, find the ballots that they need for Hobbs to win. And to top it all off, Katie Hobbs is the chief election officer of Arizona. It smells. And you know what? Carrie Lake's the type that's going to fight, as she should. You know, this, this is just, this is going to keep happening over and over, over again. By the way, COVID's, do we're done with the COVID scare. The whole reason for mail-in ballots, the excuse was the COVID scare. It's gone. Mail-in ballots need to end now. Absentee's fine. This mail-in ballot harvesting, vote dropping, it's, it's corrupt as hell. Corrupt as hell. It's cheating. Next up, Mike Pence. You know, I vow not to talk about Mike Pence on the show because I'll never forgive him uh, for some of the things that he's said and done. But I have to cover this because he's got this book out. And uh, he's a Boy Scout. He is a complete Boy Scout. And by the way, Boy Scouts in politics, you know what happens to them? They lose. They lose. And he's on, he's trying to sell this book, promote his book, Trash Trump, How Convenient, you know, act like, you know, he was, his life was in danger on January, you know what? It was not. His life wasn't in danger. What a joke. Georgia runoff. I thought about something that nobody's talking about. This was almost a dead tie. All that money spent. Now they're going to spend all this other money. Why? Who in Georgia hasn't already made up their mind? Who has, I mean, it's a ridiculous. It's ridiculous. What do you, what do those TV ads do? Every, they spend all that money and everybody's deadlocked. This is going to be, do the Georgian mail-in ballots, do they get to cheat enough to win? That's what it boils down to, to get out the vote thing. And of course, they know how to get out the vote. You don't have to go vote. They pick up your vote. University of Virginia shooter, how terrible. Football player shooting, killing three other football players. It's awful. Uh, Lion King, hear about this? Probably have by now. A white sign interpreter on Lion King got canned because he's not black. Wait a minute. Can't have a white interpreter. Most of the cast is black. Can't have a white interpreter. Now, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is a little disgusting, <laughs> but... I had to come up with something that rhymes with mega, so I came up with smegma. <laughs> You'll have to look it up. <laughs> it's so bad. But I wanted to say, just think what we stand for, mega. Well, think about what we stand for in this country. And they vilify us. Isn't that hysterical? All the things that we stand for in this country, pro-American first policies, and, you know, and they, they vilify us. And look, look what the smegma people stand for. You're going to die when you Google this word. 
<laughs> Amazon layoffs. They're laying off 10,000 people. You know what? It's hitting Amazon. Now, how would you like to be the, the GOAT of football, the greatest football player of all time? And rumors have it that the cause of the divorce is Gazelle running off with a jujitsu instructor that she's been doing a jujitsu jujitsu for a couple years. Kids got enrolled and everything else. Guess who's in Costa Rica with her right now? Mr. Jiu-Jitsu. So of course Tom Brady can't do anything because he's a jujitsu instructor. <laughs> now, Tom Brady ain't a fighter or nothing, but you know what? I think it would suck. If your wife ran off with a jiu-jitsu instructor because you couldn't kick his ass. You're just stuck. <laughs> Jennifer Newsom. You know what? I hate Newsom. But I have to admit, my heart felt for this lady yesterday, his wife. She's a very attractive woman, was an actor that didn't have many roles, met Harvey Weinstein, and Harvey Weinstein, according to her testimony, raped her with his disgusting little willy whacker. Uh, sad. Biggs is allegedly, Congressman Biggs from Texas, is allegedly going to challenge McCarthy for the speakership. Idaho shooting. Four college kids posted all these pictures, all fun and games, great. Next thing you know, they were all dead. Man, scary stuff. This is a bulldog. Every dog has their day. <laughs> Tom Brady, he's had a bad year so far. God love him.